Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar bearish crowd increased on Friday. More to the fact in the late New York session as the market fell to an intraday low of 68.40 after rejecting the high of 68.94. It is assessed from the broad uptrend that comes in around 68 to 68.35 is that the market is still challenging this bottom side of the range and still remains a threat this week. And if we see a break of this level, that would reopen the downside potential, not to the lows of 67, but more to the fact of 64 to 66 with the immediate target seen at 67.40. As evidently seen, any rebounds from this current base is still struggling towards the top side of the range around 68, 90, 95, and above that around 69, 65 to 75. Looking at the euro, well, the market is attempting to stage a slight recovery, but looking to the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, could see a break of 97.70. And this should encourage for furthermore to the bearish case to the euro and look towards its objective, which I'm still holding at this stage at 111.10.15. Any advances at this present stage finds resistance close to 112.60 as minor and then above there firm cap, as you can see from this region, around 113.40.45. Since the rebound last week of 106 figure 40 is now attempting to stage one more attempt to the upside, but I'm still looking from around 107.45 to around 107.90 as a potential cap. It is therefore viewed that we could see a pullback towards the support level of 106.85 and then maybe down towards the region of the base that is at 106.40.50 area around that level. Pound dropped further on Friday and nearly got to its target of 122.8090 before rejecting. It is assessed further weakness is evident into the fact that the technicals are still from the MACD bearish, but do be on your guard because the RSI is showing bullish divergence. So continue to lower your stop losses and take profits in accordance to your risk management, just in case we see a rebound into the start of this week back to the 124 region. Dollar CAD surges higher on Friday and posts a fresh intraday high of 137.14. Although my call was up towards around the 136 area, we should still leave at least a little bit of error due to the fact that oil broke down on Friday and therefore found the momentum in Dollar CAD. And as it looks towards its top side around 137.15 to about 137.75, reassess from there. Gold took the challenge to the downside and as you can see has negated the um, gravestone but posted a hanging man instead. I would be very careful in terms of the fact that we see a rejection from this top side around 1780 and could see the fact of the market moving back towards the bottom side of the range which comes in around 1746 to around 48. And wrapping up with oil, as you can see, the market dropped away on Friday after fr Thursday's rally has given back those gains and now looks towards the bottom side of the range around $36 a barrel. I still hold the call even down towards 34 or where a base holds around $30 a barrel. And from there, I do anticipate that the primary trend will come back from as we've fallen into the secondary, but the primary trend still looks towards the top side around 42 and heading on to $52 a barrel. Well, that's a wrap for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look at the interesting report. I hope you enjoyed a great start to this new week.